Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you all are safe at home. Okay. From last class onwards, we are learning about computer. In last class, we have learned about the input and output devices. Okay. Today, we will learn about operating system. So, it's our lesson name, operating system. So, operating system, it works like an interface between the user and the computer. Okay, before learning about this, we have to know what is the hardware and software. So, hardware means what are the parts you can see and touch. You can touch and feel those parts. That means uh, all the devices you connect to the computer, those comes under hardware. Like keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, you know, all those are hardware devices. So, software means to work with your computer, you need some set of instructions. So, first in the inside view, we have discussed, if you want to do some addition, what you have to give? 2 plus 3, like that we have to give now, that is instruction. To work with the computer, we have to give some instructions. Those set of instructions are called as software. Okay? So, hardware is the devices which you can touch and feel. You can see those with your eyes. Then you can touch, you can see that. And software is a set of instructions which you give to work with your computer. Okay. So, operating system. So, this is the interface between the user. That means between you and the computer. So, whatever you tell that the system can understand? No. So, system can understand only the machine language. Zeros and ones. That means whatever you give that is converted into the system understandable language and whatever after processing and storing, whatever the information is given by the system that is converted into your language and it is displayed on the monitor. So, all this work is done by the operating system. Okay. So, what is an operating system? It is the interface between user and computer. Computer. Okay. So, in computer, we have two. Hardware and software. Okay. It controls all the resources. It controls all the hardware and software. Hardware and software. The operating system controls this. So, hardware is the devices. Devices which you can touch and feel. So, software means instructions. To work with computer, we have to give the instructions. All those instructions comes under software. Okay? So, this. Suppose example, if you know English and the other person, uh, he knows only Hindi. So, example I am telling. Okay? That means user and the computer. Another person, he knows Hindi. What do you want? You need one translator, isn't it? Who can translate his language to you? And your language to him. Okay. Like that this operating system also works as an interface between the user and the computer. Whatever you give that is translated given to the computer. And whatever the computer gives it is translated and given to the user. So in the middle it controls all the hardware parts. From where it is taking the input, where it has to display the output, where the process has to done in CPU. Okay, so all those hardware devices, that means keyboard, CPU, monitor, mouse. Okay, all those parts are controlled and these instructions are also taken and it is displayed. CPU, monitor. So, all these are controlled by your operating system. Okay. So, in this operating system, we have two types of operating systems. So, generally, we are using Windows 7. So, we are learning about Windows 7. Windows 7 is one kind of operating system. Whenever you start your system, what you will get? You will get the starting Windows message. 
is it that windows is your operating system so that we are using in our computer okay you are learning about windows 7 operating system so starting your computer is called as booting starting the system is called as booting so whenever you start your system then you will get a starting windows message isn't it some windows symbol will be displayed and the starting windows message will be displayed here so that is starting the system it is called as booting what it is booting starting the system is called starting the computer is called as booting so after starting what you see you see the desktop this we have learned in second class okay remember recall once so you see this desktop desktop what we call it as desktop so on this uh, some pictures are there isn't it so that is wallpaper that is wallpaper some mountains greenland grasslands like that what are the picture you keep that is wallpaper okay and some uh, recycle bin symbol and uh, firefox isn't it google chrome google chrome symbol so all these are the icons small pictures on desktop is called as icon the small pictures on desktop are called as icons and here we have one button isn't it this is start button start button whatever the application you want that you can open by clicking on this start button and the start menu will be opened here and here whatever you want that you can select you can display it isn't it so next this is called as taskbar what it is this is taskbar on this taskbar the recently opened files or some folders okay whatever the icons you want to open those will be displayed here and here the time time and date will be displayed 0720 like this date and time are displayed here date and time are displayed on the taskbar okay suppose you want to open paint okay uh, we want to open paint and we want to draw some pictures what we will do we will click on the start button start menu will be opened here are all programs so you click on this all programs and it opens another menu here we will click on accessories okay in this accessories we will click here and another menu will be opened in that we can click on the paint so that paint application will be opened on this desktop there you can draw pictures and you can color pictures okay this is about the desktop okay after starting windows the picture which is displayed that is called as desktop so whatever the picture you keep there that is the wallpaper on desktop you have icons and start button from start button only we will open any application okay uh, next one so in this operating system we have two types of operating systems first one is single user operating system single user operating system so in this single user operating system only one person can use a system that means computer at a time system is here computer okay so only one person can use the computer at a time that is pc is at our home so at our home what we will do suppose you are watching online classes after you only your sister has to watch or your brother has to watch isn't it there only one person is using the computer these are single user operating systems so the examples for single user operating system is windows 98 so all these are different versions of operating system versions means every time they will make some other changes that means they will add different features extra features and they will release some another version okay that means uh, uh, suppose windows 1 is released after that windows 7 like that that means it has some other features 
to use. Okay. So examples of single user operating systems are Windows 98, Windows XP. So these are all different different operating systems. Any operating system you can use in your computer. Windows Vista. Operating system is nothing but the interface between you and the computer. Windows 7 and Windows 8. Windows 8 Mac operating system. That means Macintosh operating system. See all these are the examples for single user operating system. Single user means only one person can use the system at a time. One person can use the system at a time. Use the system at a time. Okay. System at a time. So this is about single user operating system. So we have another multi user operating system. That means many users can use the system at a time at one place or at different places. Multi-user operating system. Okay, second type is multi-user operating system. So multi-user means many members, many people can use the system, the computer at a time, at different places or at the same place. So for example is ATM machine. So multi-user means so multiple persons. Multiple people or multiple persons. That means many people can use the system at a time. Many people can use the computer, the system. System means here computer at a time. At a different place or at the same place at a time. Computer. At a time, at same place or at different place. Same or different place. Okay. Example is ATM machine. So example ATM machine. ATM is automated teller machine. Automated teller machine. The machine. So how ATM works we will withdraw the money. So suppose example for SBI bank. What happens if uh, they will keep the center. The ATM machine at uh, some command place or at the monkey center or at near lake or at different places they will keep the ATM machines. And we will use that ATM card is it to withdraw the money. So we will use ATM machine uh, ATM card to withdraw the money. Same time many others can use the ATM card and they can withdraw the money at different place. Isn't it? So at the same time different persons can use the system at different places. Okay. All those uh, transactions, all the transactions are updated in the system, in the computer which is in the bank. Okay. So suppose example I will write here. I will show the picture. I am drawing a picture. So this is the bank. Here bank is kept. So here is the bank. In this bank one computer there is server. So bank server is there. Bank server. So and it is connected to different different ATM machines. So here one ATM center is there. Okay. Here one ATM center. And one ATM center. So all the systems, all the computers are connected to the computer which is in the bank. So it is in Pragati Nagar, it is near a lake or it is Kaman or somewhere. Okay. Mm, Kaman. Okay. So like this. All the computers in ATM machines are connected to the computer which is at the bank. So all the transactions what you will do all this will be updated the computer which is in the bank. 
So many members, many persons can use the system at a time. At one place or at different places they can use. At 10 o'clock they can use the system which is in command. Some uh, person one. Or at 10 o'clock same another person. Another person can use the system which is at the like. Uh, and at 10 o'clock same another P3. Uh, person 3 can use the ATM system which is at right in other. Isn't it? Is it possible or not? They can use the ATM machine. Like that. The many multiple users, multiple persons can use the systems at different places at the same time. That is multi-user operating system. So all those are connected to the main system in the bank. Main system or the computer which is at the bank. That is bank server we call it. All these ATM machines, computers. In ATM machine, what is there? Computer only. So you see the screen. Then you type the pin that you see on the screen. What are the amount you type that you see on the screen? So that is computer. So all those computers are connected to the main system or the server or computer which is at the bank. That is multiple, multi-user operating system. So what are the examples for multi-user operating systems? Linux, Unix and Windows 2000. So all these are the different operating systems which allows multiple users to use the system at a time. Okay children? So this is about multi-user operating system. So in operating system how many types are there? Multi single user operating system that means only one person can use the system. Second one is multi-user operating system. So many people can use the system at a time. But all those systems are connected to the main system which is at the bank. Okay. All those are connected to the main system. So main example is ATM machine. The ATM machine is the example for multi-user operating system. Okay. So hope you all understood. I will show you the desktop, taskbar and the start button. How to open Paint. Okay. The example. The previous I explained now how to open paint from start button. That I will explain. And how the operating system works internally. How it controls your hardware and software. That I will explain in the computer. So that you can remember and understand better. Okay. Okay. Good morning children. Today we are going to learn about operating system. Okay. So when you... Start your system, you will get the starting windows message. So, windows is your operating system. You are starting your computer. So, after that, you will see this desktop. See this picture. This wall, This is wallpaper. So, on this wallpaper, you see this small, small icons. These are the icons and it is desktop. So, this is the mouse pointer here. So, and this is start button. And it is a taskbar. On the taskbar, notification areas. So, like date, time. So, all those will be displayed. See, this is taskbar. On this taskbar, start button and quick launch icons. These are all icons. And it is uh, Mozilla Firefox. This is the taskbar. Here, notification area will be there. And it is clock, date and time. Okay. Next, how uh, the operating system works. How it works. From user, it will get the data and it uh, gives that to the application. See, whatever the application you want to use, that will be opened. And here, this operating system will give that to hardware and whatever you get from hardware, that it uses and it gives to the application and it displays to the user. Okay, here the applications, so all these hard disk, uh, hardwares. So, hard drive, keyboard, mouse, printer, monitor, all these are connected to operating system. So, everything, the software, these applications and this hardware, these devices, all are controlled by the operating system. Okay. Next, operating system logos. We have different, different operating systems like Windows 7, Windows 7, Linux, so Unix and Macintosh. See, machine tosh and different windows. In windows only we have different, different versions. So, 
so 1.0 3.1 95 windows xp windows vista windows 7 windows 8 latest windows 10 so all these we have different different operating systems in windows different versions in windows okay next is start button so when you click on the start button so this menu will be opened what are the programs you want to open you can select and you can and display those applications okay if you want to shut down here you have shut down button you can click on that and you can display you can shut down the system okay next you see example to open paint to start ms paint how to open it so start button from here all programs okay from all programs to accessories from this accessories to paint we will open that paint and we can draw and color pictures okay thanks for watching